I'm Jessica Brogdon. I've been working for Gordon Brown at Shelburne since mid-February. And uh, day-to-day activity is just um, general maintenance and looking after Shelburne. We're doing sowing at the moment and we have 24 breeding composite ewes. I think the, the traceability component um, for, for the electronic tags is, um, I suppose it has two, two vital components. Um, which can be applied to, to any any operation really. So one would be the the processing um, component of it, uh, with meat processing facilities uh, implementing the traceable tracks, traceable hook system. You know where you can get feedback on on your carcass and intramuscular fat and fat depth. You know in real time back to the producer and and then also on a production side of things where you know if you can't measure something you can't manage it. You know, so whereas going off um, visual assessment of the animal, you can actually look at its its performance through its lifetime. You know, its its weight gains and its its birthing and scanning records, and and seeing if that particular animal suits the system, and and um, you know, and raising your whole herd performance rather than it sort of takes the guesswork out of it. I suppose I'm trying to say traceability in disease management. I think is is vital. I mean. Could you imagine if foot and mouth broke out in Australia and we didn't have the ability to, to trace what animals go where? I think, you know, an animal goes into a into a meat work facility, it's it's reasonably easy to trace it back. Whereas if you go into a sale yard, that animal could be interstate within a matter of hours, you know, and you, you cross so many borders and if you don't have, you know, um, an awareness of where that animal is or the ability to trace it, then I think the, the risk of spreading such a disease would be quite terrifying and really devastating to Australian agricultural industry. I think the adoption process would be um, would be re- relatively easy to embrace as you'd be tagging this year's lambs and animals that leave the property. So it, it's not like they're asking you to round up every single animal on the property and, t- and tag it immediately. So I think, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very kind introduction really to it, to something that's paramount and really important for the industry and the benefits it will give you in the long run. I think it it opens the floor to to use this technology to its its highest capacity or to just simply increase the biosecurity of, of our country. So it's it's easy to adapt to and easy to embrace.